AFTV, James, how satisfying was that? 3-0 away from home. That's uh, two clean sheets away from home in our first three games. Yeah. That's three out of three in our first three games. First time since the 2004-05 season, right? And we're scoring goals. Nine goals. Remember last year we conceded nine. We had no points. Yeah. And as it stands, we're top of the league. Not bad. You got all the stats. Do you want to come on Tactical Insight <laughs> on Monday with me and Graham? Um, you, you listen, you can't not be happy with that because the performance as well that's going with it. Um, I've seen teams make good starts to the season, but they don't necessarily look convincing. They still like they're getting up to scratch. Arsenal have the performances that are accompanying the results, that are accompanying this exciting start with the, you know, the fact the signs have come in early and, and everything feels like it's going the way. If Arsenal fans were writing the script, that's how we'd want it to go. Today, you know, I'm always just a bag of nerves watching any game. We could be falling up with two minutes ago and I'd always just be like, oh, but, you know, it's football and all mm. that. But when you kind of get away from that and you just reflect on the game for a sec, it was so comfortable. Arsenal for 45 minutes. I don't know if I can remember a more dominant first half we've ever mm. had. Well, okay, ever had, but I can't think of one. Um, and okay, yeah, you take into account the opposition, but Bournemouth beat Villa on the opening day. They got something about them. They're sturdy. Um, and we, you know, we gave them nothing in the first half. Nothing from set pieces, nothing on the counter-attack. We played our football brilliant. And then the second half was just sensible. Not that we wanted to concede possession and, and not have chances and Bournemouth had more of the ball and were always going to come at us a little bit more. But we just, we kept them at arm's length. You know, you always see that cartoon of someone trying to throw punches. Mm. It felt like that the whole way through until Arsenal just went right brilliant. Mm. Yeah, there you go, all the analogies and we've got Usyk Joshua tonight. But, you know, that, I just felt Arsenal were comfortable the whole way through. I didn't feel it throughout the match, but on reflection, Arsenal were excellent. Yeah, brilliant performance by Arsenal. And... Uh, some real standout performances again. Gabriel mm. Jesus again. Saliba. Mm -hmm. Odegaard with two goals. I mean, brilliant. Yeah, and I was saying on, on half time a little bit on the watch along that Jesus has this uh, old school kind of kid on a playground style where like the ball will come to him and it's not like he's got an immaculate first touch and spin. I mean, sometimes he does. You, mm. you listen, the way he's weaving in and out of players, his control is phenomenal. But he's also got this ability to nod it in the air and buy himself some time or chest it and use his strength to shield players off before he can take it under. It's almost like he's using his attributes, being his low centre of gravity, his strength, his leap, uh, his pace, to basically say, I'm going to give myself a little bit of an extra yard and I'm going to knock this past you because I'm going to get there before you. And I really enjoy that. And what it does is it causes havoc, it causes chaos, it makes defenders think that they can kind of nick in, maybe win it. No, they can't. Suddenly spun past two of you and Martinelli's in and Odegaard scores. So he's very, very important. And I think... Enketi will be learning a lot from him because I think, by the way, Enketi's cameos have been good. Mm. Um, but also, I think they've got very similar styles of play. You know, Jesus is clearly ahead, clearly. Mm. But, but I think they've got similar styles of play. So I think if we can just get the rest of the team kind of on that wavelength with him, um, and they seem, to, they seem to be gelling quite quickly, um, yeah, we can cause problems. And the fluidity was great to see. And listen, that, it, felt, it feels like from last season where Arsenal would have good performances at Watford but win 3-2 or really good against Newcastle at home and win kind of 1 or 2-0. It feels like Arsenal have just gone up a couple gears in terms of our attacking play and it's really good. Shop for AFTV merch at shop.aftv.co.uk Subscribe to us on YouTube. Follow us on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, Snapchat and Twitch. We've got content for every platform, so check it out.